darlings, welcome to my sector of the universe. This is Jess with Capella Wellness here to help you step into your truth and star into your power. For those of you who've never been here before, welcome. Thank you so very much for being here for the first time. For those of you who are returning, thank you so very much for coming back to watch another one of my videos. If you've been watching my content for a while and haven't subscribed yet, please take the time out to hit the subscribe button to support my work, my channel, so I can keep this going. I would greatly appreciate it. And for those who are my Capella members, thank you so much for your lovely loyalty and your support. I cannot thank you enough for all that you do for me, for my work, for my channel. I'm greatly, greatly appreciative. Um, I want to mention that I am offering 50% off all of my services to include the twin flame readings, the compatibility charts, the birth charts, the coaching sessions, whether it's half an hour, an hour, everything is 50% off. Just use the coupon code cyber 50 at checkout. You can use it as many times as you want. You can book the services in advance and you have until December 2nd at 1159 PM Eastern standard time to utilize the discount. All right, uh, if you want to check out the memberships, wait till the end of the video to learn more about them, or you can do so now by checking the description box below and clicking on the membership link that I have there. So you can get my bonus content. You have access to a free mobile app where all the bonus content is there. Live members, um, only readings, stuff like that. Go check that stuff out. Also, uh, there will be an extended for the video here. So if you want to, um, view the extended reading for this, check out the description box below, there are instructions there. I also offer a subscription to allow you to access all of my extendeds unlimitedly, all right? So you can check that out down there too. All right, guys, with that being said, I wish you a wonderful week. Let's get into your reading. Hey there, Libra, welcome to your reading. How are you? I hope you are well. I hope you had a wonderful Thanksgiving for those who celebrated it. <clears throat> I know I did. It already came in week, guys. We're in the Christmas season, hence I got my Christmas lights out. All right, Libra. So um, there will be an extended for this. Just so you know, the extended is going to cover what's blocking you, okay? And how to overcome those blocks along with how your person feels and thinks about you and what messages they have to tell you with the messages cards that I have created and whatever other messages they have, okay? So what we're going to do in this reading is we're going to see what you need to focus on, what you need to avoid for your spiritual growth, because that is what this is about. We're then going to get guidance from Spirit, and we're going to leave you with your wellness tip of the week, okay? So let's see what we got. Holy Spirit, Archangels, Galactic Families, Pleading Series, please reveal to us for highest good. <clears throat> What does Libra need to focus on at this time? Ooh, <laughs> I like this. Well, that's confirmation before I said anything. We have the Page of Swords and we have the Queen of Cups. I just heard there was a big energy change for somebody here. Could be you, Libra, or your person. <coughs> that's what I just heard because I'm kind of basing this off of Gemini's reading. So if you didn't watch the Gemini reading, they got the page of wands and I got strong messages of communication. There was a lot of communication vibes in that reading and it looks like it's coming for you too. So take what resonates with what doesn't. Okay, this is not going to resonate with everybody and you have to be honest with your situation. So instead of what I'm focusing on, I'm getting for a smaller group of you, you have communication coming in. Someone's going to be very honest with you about their feelings. They want to move things to the next level. They've been holding back for a long time and it's been challenging for them because they had some inner child wounds with speaking their truth, with speaking how they really feel. Um, they could have been mentally, verbally abused and they were told to be kept quiet or this is you Libra, take it how it fits your story. And this has been hard for this, this individual to express not just how they feel about someone romantically. It's just about how they feel inside. Feelings do not always have to be about romance and, and, and love, like romantic love, okay? It's just about communicating what's really on your mind, communicating what's really in your heart, being able to be expressive and to not hold back on that, to not keep it in because that's King of Cups energy. And sometimes in the shadow side of the King of Cups, when he holds in his emotions, gets emotionally withdrawn, that leads to more distorted masculine energy, okay? Which leads to anger, resentment, bitterness, violence, you name it. So <coughs> for somebody here, 
what they're doing is they're they're um, going to be asking for forgiveness here. You're gonna gonna get some sort of letter, phone call, email, some sort of text or something like that. Um, and this person wants to communicate the truth with you, and this has been a challenging thing for them because they haven't been able to do this practic practically ever. <coughs> so, but they feel a lot of love for you, Libra. And um, you could be dealing with a water sign, Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces, but uh, there's somebody here who's really trying to overcome a challenge of really telling you how they feel. Now, this could be just a challenge for them right now, which is why you may not be hearing from communication, hearing communication from them, or you're going to hear from them. They're gonna like give you a little bit, uh, I'm hearing a taste of something where they're gonna try to open up to you, okay? Um, but uh, there's somebody here who's trying to learn how to be more self-loving, how to be more forgiving, how to take better care of themselves, especially emotionally, not letting emotions get the best of them. Uh, they're trying to handle their emotions in a more uh, balanced way because this individual has had a hard time with um, keeping things in. And the bottom of the deck is the Three of Cups. So there's some sort of third-party interference with this individual who's having a hard time communicating. All right, and third party does not have to mean other people. Again, third party could be, you know, a parent. There's a mother here, okay? There's a mother and a child here. So there could have been where the mother may have been smothering, okay? The queen of cups can be smothering if she's coming from a, a, a lower vibration. Um, one who's the helicopter mother, one who's overbearing and who just protects their child and it's like no they get all emotional because they don't want their kid this this and that so this could be for you for somebody where um the third party interference could very well be the mother here who's kind of smothering the child or this is what happened in their past all right so and again it could be you <coughs> but i'm getting that for some of you um the others of you this is communication coming from somebody they're, they're going to express their deep emotions for you and they're going to ask you on a date. They're going to ask to meet up with you, go out for coffee, go for a drink, go out for a celebration. Maybe they're going to go to a Christmas party or a, a work end of year party, something along those lines. There's some party here. We are in party season because it's 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 the end of November I'm recording this. We're approaching December and it's the end of 2022. So there's a lot of celebrations going on. Maybe you're gonna be invited to a Christmas wedding or something like that, um, or engagement. So, but this person um, is going to communicate you, communicate with you in some way. <clears throat> They're going to tell you the truth about how they feel and they want to meet up with you to tell you about this. Because what I'm getting is this person's got to get over that challenge of speaking to you face to face and, and telling you how they really feel. Okay. So um, that's an energy for some of you. And look what's underneath this. It's the Ace of Cups, the hot chocolate fountain with all the marshmallows. And it's going to happen fast. So somebody here is getting ready to pour their heart out to you. They want this new beginning in love. They, they, they really want to reconcile with you. There's a reunion here. And they're going to ask to meet up with you. Um, there could be celebration over drinks or like some really uh, jubilant event here. Okay. This is like overflow of emotions. This is pure bliss and happiness. There's a lot of happiness here. So um, there's this communication coming for a smaller group of you with this person. The others of you, <clears throat> you have to really balance out your thoughts and your emotions here. Okay. Some of you are becoming a little bit irrational, okay? Maybe you received a text message and it was a little bit hard to hear. Maybe that's kind of, that's confirmation right there. <clears throat> you received communication and it was a little bit challenging for you. Um, there's something here where it kind of affected you emotionally because it's reminding you of something from your childhood. All right, you could have very well been the person who was mostly verbally, mentally abused or something or had the smothering mother like I was talking about, but there's something that you caught wind of. You read, you looked it up, you saw it on social media because it's a social media card and um, it made you quite emotional 
and, but this is spirit asking you to really uh, be careful with what you're reading be careful with what you're seeing on social media it's making you feel low i would highly recommend that you not entertain that anymore <clears throat> be careful with um any sort of communication that is causing you to lose it it's causing you to uh wallow in your sorrows it's causing you to be overly dramatic overly emotional okay to the point where you know you don't have any any clarity of thought to to process what it is that you are reading you're seeing or something along those lines whatever communication you're receiving or you're looking at or even if social media there's something about um youtube videos or instagram or something okay um be careful with the things that you are watching these days, guys, especially on social media, because for some of you, it's it's causing you to um, become emotionally imbalanced, all right? There is something about a third party here. Maybe you caught wind of like a third party. Maybe there's somebody that you saw, you saw somebody with somebody else or, or something like that. And... Um, You may have a lot of love for this person and you're seeing this person engaged, dealing with friends, dealing with family members or some other person that they're dating. This is a dating card that you're like, you don't want to hear, you don't want to see, you don't want to, to acknowledge here, all right? Because it, it's getting to your heart space, Libra. Um, <clears throat> Either you may be spying on somebody to see what they're up to. Maybe to see if they're dating, to see if they're with somebody. There's a whole bunch of stuff coming through here, okay? So, um, or they're spying on you to see who you're hanging around with. Is there somebody else in the picture is what I just heard, okay? Um, but if you're on social media, guys, and you're viewing somebody and they're having fun, okay, with friends or whatever, or you see them dating somebody else, don't let that get the best of you, okay? You've got to live your life, Libra, for whoever needs to hear this. You've got to do you, okay? Watch, watch your thoughts and watch your emotions here. There could be some drama going on that you're seeing. All right? As opposed to this is being your focus, this is not what you're supposed to be focusing on. You need to be diverting your attention away from this spying energy, from getting caught up in social media and third party stuff like watching other people have fun and let's say you're not having fun or something like that Libra you don't compare yourself to others this is why I disabled my Facebook account especially after I got divorced it was hard for me because I was seeing everybody else all being happy and jolly and stuff and we all know that not everybody puts everything on Facebook I mean well okay right they only put the happy stuff most people only put the happy stuff, right? And then everyone gets caught up trying to keep up with the Joneses. Oh, I wish we could do that. Oh, I wish we could be like that family. Or why can't we do the things that those people are doing? Blah, 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 blah. No, you don't know what's going on behind closed doors. So whoever needs to hear this, if you're getting caught up in, in watching what everybody else is doing, you need to stop. Okay, you need to stop. You gotta take care of yourself. Nurture yourself. You self love here, guys. Stop paying attention to what everybody else is doing. Oh, everybody's going to holiday parties. Everybody's doing this. They're getting engaged or whatever, whatever. Just cut it out, Libra. This is not for your eyes. Good. Whoever needs to hear this, you've got to be taking care of you. You're putting your energy and attention to something that has nothing to do with you. 
You are responsible for your happiness, okay? You need to go find some like-minded people. You go out and have fun. You go find your friends who you can, you know, have a great time with. Stop paying attention to what everybody else is doing on the internet, okay? That's not helping you. It's not. Um, there's something else I got from this, spirit. Another thing that I'm getting... Some of you need to be doing some research or connecting with a community of people, your soul tribe. Something about learning about counseling, about tarot, about teaching. Uh, not teaching. It is teaching, but doing your research on somebody who's very uh, on somebody who's very psychic, somebody who's. Uh, who's very gifted in tarot, who's very intuitive. Um, some of you may be aspiring to do this type of work, okay? This is coming out of left field, but this is for somebody else here. You want to learn more about your abilities. You want to learn more about tarot. You want to learn more about utilizing your psychic gifts for the greater good of humanity, for, to, to, to you know, help people to raise their vibration, okay? But there's something here about joining a community of, of like-minded people, like my Capella circle, my light counterpart circle, that type of thing. Your soul tribe who can help you level up with your skills, okay? You've got the gift. There's just something else that you need to learn. There may be something about learning how to better communicate what you are intuitively getting, to trust in your intuitive hits because she trusts and listens to her intuition and she does something with it. So some of you may be being asked to learn how to communicate your psychic abilities or communicate uh, what it is you're getting intuitively. Okay, because some of you have a, a little bit of a hang up with doing that. <clears throat> this could also be some of you need to start your own channel, your own Instagram uh, account. Set up your Instagram account. Your, I don't know about Facebook, but you could do that if you want. It's more so, or like TikTok or YouTube. Okay. Some of you are incredibly gifted. You're incredibly psychic, incredibly intuitive. You have a lot of compassion for people. You have a lot of love for people. You want to help people genuinely, Libra. This could very well be you creating your own social media platform or, or getting on social media and, and gathering up a community on your own. Okay? There's a lot of things that come with this. Because not every message that I say is going to fit for everybody. All right. Let's see what you need to avoid. What does Libra need to avoid? Holy Spirit. Archangels, Galactic families, Pleiadian Syrians. Please and thank you. Thank you for your wisdom, your guidance, your support, and your clarity. So with this communication there and the extended, we're going to go see what that page of swords wants to say. What does Libra need to avoid? Three of pentacles. There's more third party energy here. Okay. So some of you, some of you really got to stop spying on somebody. Okay. I'm getting that very strongly now because now we saw the three of cups and now we're having the three of pentacles and I'm getting social media. Some of you keep looking people up. Okay, you're trying to see what the hell they're doing. You're trying to see, uh, you know, what's going on in their lives. You are putting your energy towards that Libra and that is not helping you right now. It is not. There's something here about you're getting some sort of, uh, oh, or maybe there's another psychic. And this is not me who's telling you to do this. Maybe some of you are telling you there's a third party. Right? Or maybe it is me. Or there's like a third party. Or there's something else going on. And you're like, I got to find out what this is. 
I gotta start spying on this person to see who this person is, what that person is doing. Okay, if a psychic told you this, Libra, don't lose your shit and start doing all of this research trying to figure out who the third party is, what they're doing. Okay, okay, okay. Again, third party does not have to mean another person. It could be work. The person's third party situation is work. They're just focused on work. They're focused on money. They're repeating the same mistakes. They're not handling their money properly or they're, they're not, you know, focused on love right now. They're, they're focused on other things. It, that could be a third party, Libra, okay? So be very careful with what people are telling you. And yeah, if there is a literal third party person involved, you cannot keep yourself, it's like an addiction to trying to look up who, what this person, who that person is or what they're doing with that on any given basis. It's not going to help you, Libra. It's not. There's something about with avoiding, you're not learning from your past mistakes. <clears throat> third, party inter third party friction is really affecting you. <clears throat> This could even be some of you are having friends here who are influencing you poorly. They're like, hey, Libra, be like us. And you're like, uh, no, we're wearing masks. But Libra's not going to wear a mask. Libra's going to be their true authentic self. They're not going to be influenced by other people. Right? Maybe you're looking up on social media about these people, their friends or whatever you have, and you're wanting to be like them because you're seeing what they're doing, but no, no, and no. You have no idea what's really going on in that person's life. Yeah, they can be happy. But why are you trying to live somebody else's life? Why are you trying to wear a mask like everybody else? Why are you going to be like some of those people on Facebook who only put all the good stuff, or they'll fake it? Guys, you guys are smarter than this. Yeah, I'm having the time of my life, blah, 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 blah. Everybody wants to put all the good shit on social media. That's why I freaking hate it. <laughs> I only try to use it to, to, to get my work out there. I'm not trying to keep up with the journeys. I'm not trying to do what everybody else does. I mean, it's the same thing with you, Libra. Don't be like everybody else. And stop getting caught up in, in the third-party bullshit. It's not helping you whatsoever. Okay. Um, hence the seven of cups at the bottom of the deck. Okay. You're getting confused. You are seek. It's this is the keeping up with the Joneses card. This is shiny object syndrome. Oh, uh, look what everybody else is doing. I gotta do that too. But apparently some of the other people that you're getting hung up with, uh, Libra, or people you're hanging out with, they're picking the cups of poison and they're trying to lead you to continue to pick the cup of poison as opposed to picking the ace of cups here. Okay. There's all this temptation surrounding you. When you know in your heart of hearts, Libra, that it's not for your highest good. Okay. Um, ah, I just got another message. Hold on. <clears throat> Some of you may be working too hard at a job and it's not fulfilling. You don't love what you do. The three of pentacles is doing what you love, but because it's in the avoid position, some of you, you don't really like your job. You're not really committed to it. Not anymore. There's a lack of interest here in the work that you do. And maybe some of you are getting caught up in everybody, like being happy and loving their jobs. Do they really love your job? It doesn't matter, Libra. What matters is that you love what you do. And if you don't right now, this is the time to exit. This could be material here. There's somebody here who has the, the next best thing or they, they see something that they like or, you know, oh, I want to do this. I want to have that. Oh, that looks good. Oh, I want to do this. And you know that um, 
it's not really for your highest good. It's not for your health, perhaps. But you keep picking it. You keep choosing those cups that are not for you. This could even be, what do I do? What do I do? What do I do? Do I leave my job? Do I go follow, start my own YouTube channel? Do I, do, do I utilize my psychic abilities? Do I go do tarot or whatever for work? What do I do? Am I going to be able to make money? Am, am I going to be able to, am, is this really going to work out for me? The what if start showing up in here. This is clear cognizance. Thank you for the confirmation, Spirit. You are very clear cognizant, Libra. Trust in your abilities. You can make a job out of this. You love helping people because it's like, what's that message? Oh my God, it's that commercial, guys. You know what I'm talking about. The guy who says, one of the reasons why I like being a psychic is because I love to help people. You know, what, what the hell is that? Kasamba? That's what some of you want to do. Then go do it. You know you're in an unfulfilling job, Libra. It's not going to help you. But you are listening to the outside world. You may have been doing too much research to see, well, can I do this? How am I going to do that? Blah, blah, blah. Just do it. Just Start the channel. Start the whatever it is you're being called to do, Libra. Stop getting caught up in the what ifs. Stop looking about what everybody else is doing on their YouTube channel or whatever. There's, there's a little bit of over excessiveness with the research for some of you, okay? You know what choice to make. But outside influences are affecting your decision making. You're procrastinating on this. Avoid procrastination. You got to start learning from your mistakes, Libra. You got to let go of those third party situations that are trying to bring you down. But I'm also getting for another group with you, with your person. There's a cross watcher here. Or this could be you, but whatever this is. Someone thought that work was more important. They started to work their dharma. So they started to do what they love to do, but there was still something missing. Maybe other people were influencing you or your person, Libra. No, you should be focusing on work, on your finances, not having this deep love commitment or whatever this is. You should be working on the job or the business or whatever, whatever. You can have both. Again, putting thoughts in your head that shouldn't be there. You're getting confused by all of these outside influences, these third-party influences, people, social media, whatever you're reading on the internet, inter internet, internet, your boss, your friends, other people are trying to get you focused on something else when you know what you really want in life. Clear your head. Libra. There's something here. There's escapism. Some people are like, you don't want to commit to somebody because you're fearful of something. You're fearful of telling the truth. You're afraid your heart might get broken, something along those lines. And you're trying to be working and working and working to try to avoid some sort of truth. Avoid what it is that you really want because materialism isn't going to fill your happiness. It's not going to fill your cup. There's also another message here where somebody has had a lot of options on who to be with. The dating thing. There's somebody here who's done with dating. Time to make a decision, Libra. 
or your person, whoever this is for, you're like, what do I do? What choice do I make? But you intuitively know what that choice is. She has the Ace of Cups in her hand. True love is what's ultimately going to fulfill her, but she's got to find that within herself first. Self-care, self-love. But it looks like there's somebody here. Other people are telling you what to do, what to choose, but you already know what the choice to be made is, Libra. And for those of you who are like dating, okay, Other people are telling you who to date, who to marry, who to whatever, hang out with. And you're like, nope, no, 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 that's not for me. I'm talking about some serious outside influences here. Some of you are getting tempted by, it's like seduction I'm hearing. You're getting tempted by, it could be the devil pulling this off, uh, Libra. It's like the devil is tempting you to, to choose poorly because this is making poor choices in life, okay? Um, there's some temptation here. It's like living in a fantasy world. Or maybe people are telling you, uh, Libra, or your person... This person who loves you deeply, who's very forgiving, they love unconditionally. And people may be thinking, if you communicate with this Queen of Cups, Libra, she may lose her shit and cause a lot of drama. Or it's like there's some people are telling you, Libra, or whoever this is for, that this Queen of Cups does not love you the way that you think. This is kind of crazy. And they may be trying to hook you up with other people who are not a queen. Okay, whoever needs to hear that. If you're dealing with people who are trying to hook you up with people who are not queenly or kingly, that is not. I would not go that route. You're going to get caught up in some bullshit. You already know that that's not for you, that those people for you. There's something about somebody wants to stop the dating thing because it's, it's not. It's making it worse for you. This is very interesting. <laughs> it's making it worse for you, Libra. Um <clears throat> You intuitively know what choice to make, Libra. Bottom line. You just need to do something about it. And you need to say something to someone. And back to the thing with the others of you. Stop spying on somebody. Okay? You're wasting your energy by doing that. Maybe you're spying on somebody at their job where you were. There is something here where somebody could be very good spying on you to see if you are with somebody else. Where you're working, who you're dating, where you're hanging out, where you live. It's like all of these, oh my God, where? What, what are they doing? What, what is this? <laughs> who are they dating? Where are they working? Where are they living? Like, I was like, wh it's getting them confused. It's like doing all this excessive research on somebody. If you guys have to look up that much information, you're not listening to what God is telling you, okay? You guys are very intuitive. Your intuition already knows the answers to these things. You need to trust in that. Why are the Page of Swords and the Queen of Cups here, Holy Spirit? Please and thank you. Well, I think I was channeling this energy somewhere. Three of Cups. Oh, three of Swords at the bottom of the deck. Judgment. 
make a decision. There's a serious decision that needs to be made. Your intuition is telling you to make the choice. Okay? This is the forgiveness card. It's like... Somebody here is going to communicate their truth to you, communicate how they're feeling, <coughs> wanting to meet up with you to talk about some things, and they're going to ask for forgiveness. This person is needing to make a clear choice here because God is calling them to do this. This is heeding the call. God is saying... Okay, it's time for you to communicate. You can't hold this in anymore. It's time for you to take action. Make a choice. The shadow side of this is indecisiveness. Stop procrastinating. Stop getting up in your head. You already know what decision you need to make. Because God is telling you. Your intuition is telling you what that is. <clears throat> Before you start repeating the same karmic patterns. There's a resurrection here. There's Somebody's being called to communicate with someone to resurrect the connection. For, to, to initiate the, the stages of reconciliation and reunion. Somebody wants to bring something to life. That is a, uh, oh my God, the, the singer's name is Amy. Why did I went blank out? I know one of you is watching this and you're trying to tell you what song it is. I mean, the uh, Evanescence, thank you so much. Bring me back to life, right? Somebody needs to bring back a connection to life. But it looks like that it's your person, Libra, Who's, or if you're the Libra who knows, you're the one calling to communicate with someone about how you feel, you're the one who needs to bring this connection back to life, then that's you. You know what your role is. But there is something here about people. What did I say? Uh, part, third party interference. Really? If you communicate with that person, how do you know she's going to forgive you after what you've done, after what you tell the queen? She might jump all up in your shit. She may get all dramatic on you. She may not forgive you. If you're listening to this, Libra, you really need to stop listening to people outside of yourself. Start listening to what God is telling you. Those people don't know anything. It's a major arcana here. There are powerful forces at play who are trying to get you to wake up, Libra, and make a decision. The others of you, see, there's reconciliation here. And forgiveness, this is a freaking big thing about forgiveness here. Somebody's going to ask somebody to forgive them for breaking their heart, for disappointing them over and over again. Someone's bringing this connection back to life because they are ending separation. This communication is going to end separation. <clears throat> but it starts with forgiveness. Forgiveness is a divine quality. You can't forgive yourself or other people. You can't have a harmonious sacred union. You just can't. It's a requirement. Because harmonious, divine, sacred union ties into forgiveness being a divine quality. But it looks like somebody wants to resurrect the connection, wants to resurrect something <coughs> to end this. And they're going to ask for forgiveness. 
those of you with the social media stuff that I talked about, it's really not helping you. It makes you sad. It lowers your vibration. <coughs> All right. <clears throat> You're being called to do something, Libra. You're judging yourself because you're comparing yourself to everybody else, what they're living their lives as. Things are not always what they seem. You're confused. There's illusions here that are being presented to you. If This is the story for some of you looking at the social media stuff. Okay. And you're telling yourself, oh, well, I must be doing something wrong. Nobody wants to marry me. Nobody wants to, to have fun with me. Nobody wants to do this, blah, 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 blah. Stop doing that, please, Libra. You're being called to do something better, something greater. And if you're looking at these people, because it's the holidays, there's a lot of engagements that happen around this time. All this stuff. Maybe you're seeing a lot more weddings or engagement parties now. Okay? You're like, I wish that was me. Why can't I be like everybody else? Why can't I do this? Why can't I be happy is what I just heard. You have to be responsible for your happiness, Libra. Stop judging yourself thinking that you won't have that in life. But guess what? What I'm getting for some of you, you're going to be blessed with something better than what those people you're spying on, you're looking at half. And I'm not saying that anybody's better than anybody else. That is not what I'm saying because here's the thing. Some of you will end up with your divine counterpart, the true love. A lot of the people that you're looking up on social media, they're not with their counterparts. I can tell you that much. They're not. They could be happy. They could be having fun. But are they working a mission together? Are they trying to save the world together? Are they trying to elevate the vibration of the planet? Probably not. Which is why whoever needs to hear this, you're getting hung up on what everybody else is doing. And, oh, everybody's getting engaged. Everyone's happy and having fun. You have a bigger mission and wait until you see what God has for you at the end of the day and the others of you you're being called to start that channel to start setting up that social media account whatever to utilize your psychic gifts whether it's tarot or healing or counseling or whatever that is build a community of people you keep being asked to do it and some of you are not heeding the call you're avoiding it you're putting a blind eye to this when you know this is your mission. You have a mission here, Libra. It's time to follow it. You are here to heal people in whatever capacity. You're going to help people get out of this sad, dark energy. I don't want to say it's dark. It's not that bad. But for some people, this kills them. It ruins their life when it shouldn't. We have to go through the heartbreak, guys, to understand that we have the ability to heal our own selves. It helps us to realize why something didn't work. It helps us to realize who we really are as children of God. It helps us to understand that hearts can always heal. And it starts with us First, forgiving ourselves and moving on from this heartbreak, from the sorrow, from the sadness, from the pain. <coughs> and the one who can heal this the most starts with God, the archangels. At the end of the day, forgiveness is what heals too. And so does unconditional love, compassion. That is what mends broken hearts, everybody. Forgiveness, unconditional love and compassion. That is what's going to raise our vibrations. And look what's down here, ton of swords. 
Gemini got that in their reading. That was at the top of the deck. Why is it three of pentacles here, Holy Spirit? Thank you. Oh my God. It's there again. Third party friction. There's work stuff for others of you, okay? You're not happy in a job. You're being called to utilize your gifts, okay? You're not happy, the three of swords with your job, whatever. Guess what? It's lowering your vibration. Don't expect for you to attract things that God has for you. If you're still in this job that you're 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 working for somebody else and you're feeling miserable in it and you're not you're putting some uh, money in somebody else's pocket. There's also something about you guys not learning that you're allowing third party interferences to affect your life. Why? There's no need for that. <clears throat> There's a mind, body, soul misalignment here. We got another major. And we got Virgo energy here. You may have Virgo in your chart, or they do. Hermit and the Queen of Swords. For the person who needs to communicate, see what I was saying? Shit, man. So it's the person who needs to communicate how they feel, like asking them to, to go out on a date or to meet up or whatever this is, to tell them how they feel, to like to be honest. That's honesty and integrity right there. Someone who speaks the truth, who communicates the truth clearly. There's something here. There's third party people. I cannot stress it enough that are messing you up in the head, Libra. They're confusing you because these people... They're causing you to have a little bit of paranoia here, thinking that this queen of cups is going to chop your head off. I was going to say it. I should have said it. I should have said it. I totally felt this energy. It's like somebody, people are putting in your head that when you speak the truth to this person, the true queen, We've got two queens here. Somebody who's brilliant, who hears people out, but just wants the truth and nothing but. But she still has head heart balance. Thank you, Holy Spirit, for the confirmation. She still has a lot of love and compassion. She's assertive, but she doesn't chop heads off. There's a difference, Libra. Some people are putting in your freaking head, Libra, that this queen, the true queen here, the one who's all forgiving, who's all loving, pretty much like Christ-like here, these people think that that queen is going to chop your head off and it's causing some paralyzing fear. It's starting to cause paranoia. Get out of this. Whoever is in putting this into your head, Libra, you've got to really stay away from these people. You really do. Okay. Because this person is not a cold hearted bitch. They are far from it. Someone who is not a divine anything <laughs> will be The cold-hearted bitch who's very cunning and very conniving, very ruthless, very um, critical and condescending. No heart whatsoever. Icebox for heart. Like that Marion song. I've got this icebox where my heart used to be. Somebody here is thinking that the true Queen of Cups is going to turn into the Queen of Swords. Because when you tell the Queen the truth, it's going to be challenging. Because this is challenges right here with the Page of Swords. The truth doesn't always come easy. However, she does not judge people based on their past. She doesn't judge people, period, because she knows people go through hard knocks. She knows that people go through difficulties in life, but that is what makes us stronger, wiser, and more intelligent. 
It makes us more mentally strong. Again, with that three of swords, we have to go through those difficulties to get to this, this um, higher level of consciousness, right? This queen is a very beautiful, very loving, brilliant person. She is not afraid of speaking her truth, period. She's gone through a lot of shit herself, but through all those hard knocks in life, she learned from every little thing, every heartbreak, every disappointment, so that whenever it was brought to her again, she was able to cut it off and not let it interfere with her vibration because she is in a queen state. So all of this bullshit that happens in our lives, guys, it's to teach us, it's to have us gain this wisdom to learn from those experiences, to be emotionally sound, to be mentally strong, okay? So that whenever anything else comes our way, we have this spiritual mastery that we've achieved to the point where we're not affected by three of swords as much as we were before, okay? So if there's somebody here who is, um, they don't deal with bullshit but they're still forgiving and non-judgmental and have a lot of compassion for people because she knows people go through some serious shit in life. She can't judge people for acting a certain way because she intuitively knows that they've been some through some battles. She may not know those battles exactly, but she knows there are battles because we all deal with them. We all deal with this inability to be our true authentic selves, do we not? I went through the same thing. She learned a lot that if she wasn't in her truth, she could never be at peace. She, could, If she wasn't her true authentic self, she wasn't loving herself. You can't love yourself fully, Libra, if you are trying to be like somebody else. So whoever's getting hung up, if you're listening to these people who are causing you, there's something about, no, you should be dating other people. No, this person's going to chop your head off. No, they're not going to forgive you. No, they're going to be like, screw you, whatever, queen of swords, chop your head and everything else off. No. Or you could be doing this to yourself, causing yourself some paranoia. When you intuitively know this person is not these shadow queens. And then the others of you. <clears throat> There's a fear here. of being in solitude, doing your work to prepare yourself for this mission to be this uh, psychic, this tarot reader, this healer, this counselor, okay? Someone who teaches through their intuition. It's exactly what I do. I teach. I am not a fortune teller. The Queen of Cups is a psychic. She is a tarot reader for some of you but she is not a fortune teller. She's supposed to tap into her Queen of Swords energy to teach based on her experiences, the lessons she's learned, the wisdom she's gained and to share it with other people utilizing those spiritual gifts that she was given. It's for a lot of you, that's what you're being called to do, but you're getting hung up on, I don't know if I can be my true authentic self, and be out there on social media. I'm afraid people are going to retaliate. I'm afraid people are going to judge me. I'm afraid people are going to say this, this, and that about me. Don't get hung up on that, Libra. You, The more you work on this, the more you practice being out there, it's exactly what I did. The better you will get at it. It's a matter of baby steps here. You've got to put in the work. Little by little, okay? This is co-creation. 
This is working with other people to help you get over this fear of being your true authentic self and utilizing your gifts. You have the ability to do this. You got to stop getting caught up and comparing yourself to other people who do the similar work you do. You got to stop listening to other people. You're crazy. You're going to leave that job. You're, you can't do that. Shit, guys, I went through the same damn thing. It doesn't give, I don't give two shits about it. Because I know it's some one way or another Somebody is learning something from me. I'm inspiring somebody one way or another. It doesn't have to be a million people, but that's because I'm not a fucking fortune teller. I'm a teacher. I teach my wisdom. This is what this is supposed to be used for. Not anything else. And as I say, it's spiritual growth. I can go on for the, um, but I can't even talk. I can go, go on for hours with this. But I'm not going to because I've already, <laughs> I tell you guys, I always say like these readings won't be so long, but I guess I got a lot to teach. I got a lot to say. Let's see what guidance we have for Libra, Holy Spirit. <laughs> that almost slid underneath my laptop over there. Tranquility. In thy womb of blissful quieting and calming stillness lives the world of worlds spellbound to the silence. See what this third party interference, guys, or the social media stuff here that's interfering with your life. You got to like take it easy. Calming stillness. Okay. <clears throat> Got to get to a place of balance here. Bottom of the deck is snow. There is beauty in the divine that settles on thy flesh, a magical enchantment bestowed in purity. Being your true, authentic self. Purification, renewal, rejuvenation. White is the color of truth. Pure as of new fallen snow. Maybe it's literally snowing where you are right now. If that's the case, it's confirmation for you. Okay. Let's go look at the book. Number 39. Tranquility. Key words here are peace, silence, and healing. There's also a being having a focus on your healing, right? But as you're utilizing your gifts, you actually do heal. When you're doing that, you do heal your heart chakra, as weird as that is, and it's 11-11 as I'm saying this. You start to learn to love yourself for who you are, and you're not going to be afraid to be who God made you to be. As you are doing this, you are going to actually heal your heart chakra. Some people don't know this. And it ties into you living your purpose, doing your mission work. As you're doing your mission work, it's exactly what happened to me. And it still happens. I continue to heal. The healing never ends. To be at peace means to have inner harmony despite what is happening around you. Imagine how much easier Christmas shopping and holiday preparation would be if nothing ruffled your feathers. The same goes for life. You cannot change other people or external factors, but you can control how you respond to them. Inner peace is created through an acceptance of what is beyond your control. What is the purpose of worry if it cannot contribute to a change in your situation? You have pulled tranquility because what you have asked about is beyond your control. It may seem ominous, but the fear is often much worse than the thing itself. Excessive worrying will only cause you more pain and could lead to self-fulfilling prophecies like the Nine of Swords. You are being guided to release stress and seek peace. Reach out for help if you feel like this is not something you can manage independently. Having another perspective could help to ease the stress. Hence, there's something about community, working with somebody else, another teacher, another psychic, another intuitive, okay? Looking up who can best support you through whatever this is for you. 
You know, Libra, who this person is. Reach out for help if you feel like this is not something you can manage independently. You're being guided to release stress and seek peace. <clears throat> uh, snow. Softness, patience, and allowing. How beautiful is a white winter Christmas. It's as if the heavens cover the world in a blanket of purity and blessings. The air seems fresher. Everything looks brighter and cleaner. When snow falls, it feels like little drops of wisdom are falling from the cosmos. Each flurry offers a chance to connect with the divine for wisdom and guidance. Water has long been associated with access to spiritual realms, and snow's healing properties are similar. But water can be overwhelming, chaotic, a massive force. Snow is soft, pure, and gently whispers, allowing its healing to settle lightly upon you rather than being overwhelmed by an enormous flood. Hence the shadow side of the Queen of Cups, being flooded by your emotions, drowning in your emotions, okay? Snow is falling in your spread as a reminder to soften. There is no need to know everything at once, nor is there any reason to rush. Allow things to gently come to you over time. Operating from a place of force is when mistakes happen, or worse, you can end up running over everything and everyone in your path, causing more obstacles, headache, heartache, and disruptions. Snow reminds you that force breaks more than it creates. Be gentle as you move ahead and trust that all will be revealed in due time. Okay. All right, we're going to pull your wellness message. Where are the wellness cards? Let's put this here. Okay, guys. We're going to do your wellness tip. Okay. And as I mentioned, there will be an extended for this. We're going to see what's blocking you. Okay. How to overcome the blocks. We're going to see how your person is thinking and feeling about you and what messages they want to share with you at this time. What is the wellness tip for Libra? Thank you, Holy Spirit. Casting spells. The words I speak and the stories I tell are like spells. What I say and believe, I attract more of. So I shift my story from lack to abundance, from victim to empowered, and from complaint to gratitude. Now, when I speak to others through my words, I am casting beautiful spells. There's also another message for some of you to watch what you say. If you're speaking in a condescending, critical, harsh way, you may even be critical about yourself, Libra. Watch your words. Words become things. Okay? That's your wellness tip number one. Number two, opportunities for growth. Everything is happening for me in my evolution. I am not a victim of the things that happen. I take ownership of my life and make the best of the challenges along my journey. I see how difficult moments help me to become my best version and I am thankful for them. I was talking about this. The wisdom you're going to gain from the heartache and, this, and the difficulty and the separation and the sorrow. It's a learning experience. You're here on earth school. You have to take ownership of your life and make the most of those challenges. The three of cups that I talked about. You're responsible for your happiness, your abundance, your well-being. The third one is creator of happiness. Uh, I reclaim my power to create my own joy and happiness. It is not dependent on any outside source or individual. Therefore, it cannot be taken away. It can always be found within me. Absolutely. There you are, Libra. Your symbol with the scales. Balance. I surround myself with people I love and enjoy my time with them, but I also take time to nurture my relationship with myself. I have found a healthy balance between being with friends and having self-care time. Very, very important. And again, if you've got these friends who are putting shit in your head, Libra, 
I would highly recommend, and I can't tell you what to do, but this is the guidance that you cut them out. Cut out all the bullshit. Let go of what doesn't serve you, okay? It'll help you balance out your life, all right? I don't know why it shifted, but there you go. Okay, Libra. Um, so in the extended, like I said, we're going to see what's blocking you, how to remove those blocks, what your person's thinking and feeling about you, and what messages they have to say, okay? Because there is somebody here who has something to say, all right? And whatever other messages Spirit gives us, okay? So uh, if you'd like to book a personal reading or life coaching session, remember I am offering 50% off all of my services my compatibility charts, my coaching sessions, everything. Use Cyber50 at checkout. The coupon is in the description box uh, if you missed the coupon code. If you go to compatiblewellness.com, you should see it there. There should be a pop-up on my website to give you the coupon code as well as a reminder. Um, you can use it as many times as you want up until December 2nd, 1159 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. You can book your readings in advance. People usually take advantage of this and they book several readings in a three-month period or however many they need um, to kind of help you start off the new year, right? If you want a coaching session, you want a reading at the beginning of January, utilize that 50% off to your advantage, okay? Um, investing in your spiritual growth will be greatly rewarded. If you want to sign up for a Capella membership, by all means, um, try the 14-day free trial if you feel called to. Uh, if you want to support my channel by making a donation or picking an item from my Amazon wish list, those links are in the description box below. Um, I am having a Light Counterpart Circle uh, group meeting on Wednesday, November 30th at 9.30 p.m. Um, those are for members only. You can sign up for the 14-day free trial and be part of that reading, okay? I'm going to be talking about my journey, and I'm going to be answering some questions for the other uh, twins who are in that um, session to help them along their journey to pass along my wisdom from my experience, okay? So if you are a twin flame and you want to participate in that, by all means, go ahead and sign up for that. Uh, for the Capella membership that offers the members only live readings, uh, you will be given the link to that private session in the Capella circle, which is only accessible to those with memberships, okay? Um, there's a whole bunch of other awesome benefits with the memberships. I give all this bonus content that I do not do here on YouTube, okay? And some of the tiers also include a discounted price tap, uh, tied into the membership fee, monthly fee, uh, to allow you to have unlimited access to all of my extended videos, okay? So, with that being said, Libra, that concludes your reading. Thank you so very much for watching this video. For subscribing to this channel if you haven't already, and for illuminating that thumbs up button, I really appreciate it. I wish you the best today. Always, I send you so, so much love, and I hope I illuminated your well being today. Again, this is Jasmine Capella Wellness, starring out.